uh, dump it on Twitter. Um, <coughs> what are you gonna dump? Just like, uh, yes. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the VGR Fuck cast, you. the weekly podcast about anything and everything words. in I hate between. Him. I hate As him. I always, hate I am joined him. by these him. lovely people Ryan, Chris, Chris, Monica, and Steve. My name's Kevin, and welcome to the show. Back, bitch. I came here for Mike. Where the fuck? <laughs> Where, where's Mike? Where I is for, Ember? I came here for anime. Where hot is my fucking, super fucking super unsub, unfollow, This is the blocking, first reporting. podcast Mike has missed as well. He's not that feeling is too good. Is fun, it? Fun fact. I believe this is the first podcast Mike has missed. Okay, I know I just dug through your Twitter to find out the date of the first podcast, but I'm not fucking going through all four, yeah. 40, <laughs> previous 47 podcasts. Yeah, let's go back and watch them Mike all. wasn't in. And welcome back, to- Monica. Back. Yes, um, yes. Um, Welcome back, Monica. Okay. Um, yes. yes, Steve brings up uh, Mike's anime box is empty tonight, and we no see so yeah, no no Mike's anime box, no Mike's shot of the week. So uh, pour one out for your homeboy. I will sip on some water. Yeah. I, I will not sip on anything because I don't have a drink. That's not me being shady. I just literally don't have anything to drink. <laughs> Why do you not have water? I have water with me basically wherever I go. No, no, I get you, Monica. I don't have water everywhere I go either. Well, uh, there's water on my work desk, but that's too far away to get. That's the mood. I also that's don't all drink. The way it it works. Be the mood. Yeah, exactly. It's all the way in my work area. Did you say you don't drink? I just I don't drink enough water. Oh, is what I was going to say. Don't drink that. I don't I drink at all. I don't drink anything. <laughs> Never. I just I just photosynthesize. <laughs> exactly. I just I mean right now like I'm just going into like hibernation because there's no like sunlight, so I'm just gonna shut down. Oh god, that is amazing. Wait, what do you mean there's no sunlight? This is like this is like peak sunlight right now. I mean not right now, but this time of year. Well, I was gonna say it was cloudy uh, and rainy today. Yeah, today was okay, gross. that that's true. I mean, granted there's still technically sun out, but it's definitely very muted. You can mm-hmm. technically get a sunburn when it's cloudy. True. Yes. Uh, Thanks, that Mom. Happened to me. Uh, that happened to me, actually. I, that was that, sixth grade. That surprises yeah. me zero percent. Shut up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, we're, bo- we're both white and pasty. It's, 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 it's bound to happen. I've got Irish in my blood. I, I... Just, just, just the too close to UV lamp. Just... <laughs> ah! Bro. Um, so yeah, welcome back, Monica. Yeah. You've been gone. I have been gone, and uh, the reason I've been gone, I think I caught, I, I've tried to catch the podcast here and there when I haven't been on, but essentially I've been working on a virtual production of Clue, uh, which is a script adapted from 1995 movie uh, with Tim Curry. That has further been adapted for a Zoom format, because uh, it's referred to as Day at Home version. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it was a weird. I won't say weird because the, because with the pandemic, theater has largely gone dark, like everywhere. <laughs> I'd imagine. Uh, and a lot of people have been trying zoom shows uh and they've by and large been kind of like this where everybody's in a screen and they're just reading uh just doing like a staged reading of a particular Mm -hmm. uh with with not a lot of uh production value i uh i was a part of a couple of those uh earlier in the year uh there was a reading someone adapted Plan 9 from Outer Space uh, and did it as so, a... So hold on a second. Do you re- so with Plan 9 from Outer Space, do you make it a deliberately terrible play or is it or is it taking Plan 9 and making it good? You lean into the ham. Gotcha. You you lean into it. Uh, is, is the Bella ham. Lugosi, is Bella Lugosi waddling around in the background? No, but our Bella Lugosi was played by my friend who unfortunately passed this past September, so... Oh. Rip Dean. Uh, that, and then, um, that, uh, I did a, there was another one where it was a collection of, like, little short radio plays that we mm-hmm. did that was 
kind of interesting. Uh, whereas had a sort of a more spooky vibe. And that, and again, that one was just a lot of sitting in front of, uh, some people tend to use the, like, the virtual backgrounds with Zoom as backgrounds. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I haven't been on so long, and I'm just happy to be here, man. <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. Thanks, Bob. And, and then the... the Because I've done three, three prior to this. And the third one was A Christmas Carol. Everybody knows A Christmas Carol. Same, Which same one? Time. Yes. <laughs> Alistair yes. Sims' best Christmas Carol. I will die on this hill. But the interesting thing about this particular particular production of zoom or clue that has made it a lot different is it's kind of this weird hybrid between a fully produced video and a zoom reading where there's a lot mm. more blocking uh and physicality to it than any of the other shows that i've worked on and we had some fun workarounds for various things uh like, for example, I play Miss Scarlet, and a very big running gag is my boots get touched a lot. That's a thing. Uh, yes, that is a thing. And obviously, with being in a virtual space, they can't do that. So... What? <laughs> Rocking. I know. So we had uh, Nat fill in for sort of stunt hands, if you will, grabby hands. Grabby hands. I told my director I wanted him credited as. Grabby I was about hands. to say, is he going to be credited as Grabby Hands? That's perfect. I love it. Is he actually? I, I was told. Uh, I I had put that request in. He's not in the program listed, but here's hoping the actual credits he will be. Um, yeah, I'll I'll keep an eye out for it. Yeah. Um. One of the um, like a lot of people get killed in blue. And the various deaths have to be oh, done really? uh, with people, uh, with people uh, in their personal bubble. Uh, but we've there's there's a lot of uh, big, act, but it was a very big undertaking. Mm -hmm. I played Miss Scarlet uh, and was one of the main six, so I was obviously on stage pretty much the entire time on stage. Uh, but it was closer more to like a film experience rather than a play, which is something we're used to. So that was also new. Nice. Yeah, I mean I judging by the the um the trailer that was put out, it seems more like kinda like a big big ass YouTube production than yeah. anything else. Which seems yeah, awesome. It is. It's filmed over Zoom. Um the uh the guy that we have editing it uh put uh sent a couple of samples and it's pretty dope it's it's nice. pretty dope because it's not like super like oh man this is really good and high quality but it kind of leans into a little bit of the sort of like hamminess of the original clue mm -hmm. with, with a few things but with a few things yeah it it's been very very fun to work on uh the cast was very collaborative which made it feel a lot more closer to the real thing mm -hmm. because it's been hard to scratch that itch uh, with everything going. Nice. But that is set to open on uh, May 22nd. Uh, I am going to throw down a chat. Banned uh, for self-promotion now. <laughs> Yo, I'll if you banned it. for self promotion, I accidentally banned Steve the other. The other <laughs> you did. Guys. That was awesome. Y'all, if we were banned for self promotion, like three fourths of this cast would be banned. That is fair. Uh, so what? what are you talking about? <laughs> so I'm throwing it uh, down there. Uh, tickets are five, five bucks, and from what I've been told, how it works is that I. Uh, you get sent a link, and you have a 48-hour window to watch it. So you can watch it as many times as you like uh, within oh. that 48-hour window. So, How many times can I copy over and put on YouTube? <laughs> Don't do that. You're going <laughs> to get I'm us kidding. in trouble. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You better be. I'm only kind of kidding. It's fine. 
but it it's been really good to work on it. While I've I've missed obviously being around bumming with you guys, it's been a fantastic. Nice. Well, congrats. I'm glad you're glad you're enjoying that. Um, obviously, no spoilers though. I I I I, I, I want to guess who the bad guy is. Um, um, transition. Um, <laughs> by the way, mentioning one. spoilers. Why don't we let? Why, wait, no, we need to go back and let Christine give that one a try. No, no, no. I had a better one in in a previous week. Oh, okay. Oh. This is weak compared. Week Whatever. Compared to a previous week's. Whatever. One. <laughs> so the <laughs> the the big topic of the week, I guess, <laughs> is week. when when are spoilers okay to talk about? Like, <clears throat> like how long do you have to wait for a piece of media to be out for? Like, how old does a piece of media have to be before you can <clears throat> talk about it openly? Like, obviously, <clears throat> obviously, everyone knows Snape kills Dumbledore. What? Darth, Vader, Darth, Darth Vader's Luke's Luke father. father. Yeah. The, um, the devil did it. The devil did it, you know. Is Bruce that a Willis for the Bible. <laughs> Bruce Willis, was, I mean, but then like even then the, the one before Star Wars was that Bruce Willis was a ghost. Like like that was the big spoiler before that. And um, I realized that Star Wars came out way the fuck before b before the Sixth Sense, right? Okay, maybe it was in between that and Harry Potter then, but but that was one of the yes, big spoilers at one point. But so yeah. I mean, what what does everyone think? Is it like? A year, well, two years, ten the, years? The initial, um, because I was the one that brought this uh, topic uh, up, and it, and fun fact, I was actually going to bring this up, like, a couple of months ago, but then I got cast in Clue and had Whoops. to sit on this for, like, two months. But Was it uncomfortable? Uh, a little bit. Uh, <sighs> but what brought it up is uh, Nat uh, uh, was having a conversation with one of his colleagues at the theater about uh, the, Manila, the Don Quixote Mano La Mancha book, and uh, his his buddy at the theater was like, "Do you mind if I spoil a four hundred year old book?" <laughs> and it kind of brought up is this like, at what point does a spoiler warning feel silly? Well, I I think it also depends on the media and like the person like viewing it. Like uh, with any modern stuff, is just like uh, the Mandalorian or like uh, the Bad Batch or something like that. I'm all if I want to talk about, it, I'm going to say, "Yo, you caught up on." whatever or something like that but like if if some like uh, if someone starts talking about like an old game like i just recently started playing horizon zero dawn i've kept myself in the dark other than the fact that robot dinosaurs is what basically the my extent of the knowledge extent of my knowledge going through it i kept myself deliberately in the dark because i was like this looks dope i want to play this so i robot like, dinosaurs view. yeah it's pretty fuck it's pretty fucking dope i played like about four hours now would recommend it's fun um Sorry, I lost my train of thought. But like, what about dinosaurs. If, if someone says, you know, I'll if someone starts talking about something, I'll, I'll go, oh hey, I don't want to, you know, no, no spoilers. I'm not caught up, or I'm I'm planning on playing or watching or reading that someday. You know, I mm -hmm. it, it, it's super subjective. I think that's just my opinion, though. Yeah, I know that that's a good take. I mean, personally, before I ever talk about anything that might be spoilers, I ask like. Have you seen it? Do you do you care about it? Like, will you ever see it? And then if their answer is no, then I'll just talk about it. But, like, if it's something that they're like, no, 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 don't tell me, then obviously don't tell them. But, like, if it just slips up in conversation, I would say if it's older than, like... <sighs> I mean, with today's current access to media and everything, I would even say, like, if it's, like, a couple months old and it just kind of slips up in regular conversation... That's kind of okay, I think. Yeah. I mean, because if it's something, maybe, you're, if it's maybe a, if, like, go ahead. Maybe if like the initial hype is like has dies down. Yeah. Then I it's mean, okay. I guess like, my. I, I had to make sure make sure to basically see like Infinity War and Endgame basically within the first week. Otherwise, I know I was going to get spoiled by like Reddit. Well, yeah, and like that. that that's an asshole online being an asshole because he's being an asshole. Not necessarily. Like, more for me, it was just like I'll see a link and I'll click on it like instinctively. Oh fuck, that's a spoiler for Endgame. You know, then the entire that was like no. Luckily, I was able to. Uh, I I think I was able to keep myself pretty spoiler free for end game so that the, was um the only end game spoiler i saw was that tony built an infinity gauntlet 
I, I, I just I, saw, like, the Iron Man Infinity Gauntlet. It didn't have any gems in it or anything. It was just the gauntlet. So I was kind of like, oh, that's their plan. The one spoiler thing that someone deliberately spoiled for me because he's being a dick was, uh, I mean, it's, it was for The Last Jedi, so I guess no big loss. But uh, <laughs> um, it was... It I like Last Jedi. He, it, it's, uh, it, we've it we've had, talked about this. I know. It, ha- it has its moments, but there's a lot of garbage in between those moments. Anyway... Um, was that, um, uh, spoiler alert, in case you haven't seen The Last Jedi, um, was that, uh, Kylo kills Snoke, and he just straight up told me that, and I hadn't seen it yet, and I was just like, I am super mad you told me that, because, like, then I was looking for it. Yeah, My I mean... sides, though. <laughs> the... <What>? My sides, <laughs> though. The, the, the one spoiler I got from Star Wars was right before, uh, it was, like, the day after... Um, uh, Force Awakens came out, and like oh, that's a great movie. And eh, see, I have so many other thoughts now about Force Awakens. Nope, nope, nope. Back, no, back to spoilers. Just, anyways, anyways, I, back I'm to spoilers. Gonna, oh, say, say it as um, it is. Don't turn this into a Star Wars discussion. I know, I know, <laughs> can't afford I know. That. But so, so it was, it was like the day it came out. I was gonna go see it with my family like on Friday night or Saturday, and it was like a GIF <laughs> on Reddit. Or no, sorry, it was a GIF on Twitter of like a puppy or something, like a really cute animal GIF. And then halfway through the GIF, it flashes up in screen in big letters: Han Solo dies, killed by son. Oh, and I'm just like, oh. I was so blindsided. I just like stared at my phone, like, what? Like, no. like I was like I was kind of expecting Harrison Ford to get off because like you yeah, know I was about to say, it's Harrison he, Ford, he wanted yeah he, out. <laughs> he he wanted out. He never wanted to come back. And so and I kind of knew doing, it was going to happen. And yet he's doing Indiana Jones 5. Is Indy using a walker now? Yeah, probably. Well, because well, that was the deal. The deal was he came back for Star Wars, he got another Indiana Jones. Yeah. Why did he want... Wait, so... He, he likes wanted Indiana, Indiana He Jones. likes Indy. He doesn't like Han. He likes Indiana. He doesn't like Han. Which is literally what I just said. I know. I, suppose I, just, Indiana Jones I was about to say it. It just kind of came out. But... I, I was going to throw my two cents. I feel like it just comes down to consent and communication with spoiler mm, warnings. Because sure. there, there are people who uh, don't, uh, that literally don't care. Uh, there are people like my dad who will literally avoid trailers to avoid any sort of uh, further knowledge about what he is about to see. Um, and there's also people who, like, may not have had ha- access to certain medias. Like, for example, <laughs> uh, Nat recently falling in the Zelda train. Like, a lot of those games are, like, 20-plus years old, but he didn't have Nintendo growing up. <laughs> like, so it just comes down to <laughs> consent and communication. I was mm-hmm. trying to think, like, with, with regards to Zelda, there aren't really that many, like, mind-blowing plot, plot twists and... Many of them, though, given I've only really played two of them. Wait, yeah, you know what I the fuck you're talking I feel, about. I feel like with Zelda, the more, the more, oh, there's one. The majority of the discussion comes from where the fuck does this game fit in the timeline? <laughs> yeah, where the true, fuck this, true. This thing fit the timeline. Where the fuck is that last Korok seed? <laughs> it's not. It's not worth it. Don't go for all of them. It's not worth it. Um, <laughs> it is but... important though to get some. <laughs> Yeah, speaking of which, though, having a great-ass time with Breath you of the got Wild. Your um, but um, I, in terms of, like, spoilers I unintentionally saw that uh, made me mad that it got spoiled, there's only one that I was explicitly mad at, and it was for Kill the Kill. Oh. What was the spoiler? Uh, oh, wait, has everyone... Kevin, you nope. seen Kill Does the anyone Kill? care? Yeah, I do. I want to watch I've, it eventually. I've seen it. Take your headset uh, off. No. Take your headset off. Because then I can't go back and rewatch Take this, your though. Take headset off. Ugh. I'll me- Steve, I'll message you. Uh, well, his headset's off. We can talk about it. Me and Ryan. No, he'll go it. back and watch it. I'll just oh. message Okay, fine. I guess for, like, Thanks me... Thanks for ruining it... this, Kevin. You're I welcome. For me, when it comes to spoilers, I don't care. Because... how how do... If you see a potential spoiler anywhere on social media or whatever, how do you know it's true? That's true. Most of the time, it's true. <clears throat> I mean, yeah. okay, fair, but how do you know in that moment that that's true? I mean, that's I know that's kind of what I was like thinking when fair. like I got spoiled for 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 Kylo killing Snoke, but then it turned out it was like, oh fuck, that was actually true, and that's bullshit, and I hate you. 
Cause, cause for me, like if I see this something like that, I was thinking, all right, whatever, bro, and and then go see it, and just only care about what I'm seeing, not caring about what some random asshole mm, gotcha, uh, okay. tried to get me. Fair. Uh, yeah. I was, which is I was... why when, which is why when you guys, when someone asks, oh, does anyone care about spoilers? I'm like, no. I'm always like, no, because I'm pro. By the time I get around to seeing or doing or playing whatever. It, uh, spoilers you're talking about I'm gonna forget what you said so yeah that, but I I think that I'm kind of the same way if it's something I know I'm gonna play but I'm not gonna play it for like a long ass time I probably wouldn't care too much but like like cyberpunk I might pick up cyberpunk but I'm probably not gonna play it for a long while because I've got so much in my backlog but mm -hmm. like if I'm gonna see something like relatively soon, so I can get like you know be in the conversation like uh, Infinity War or Endgame, then yeah, I'll probably I'd be super mad if you fucking spoiled that for me because I'll remember that shit. For, like time know, to spoil it for Steve. I will end you. No. But, end me like Endgame. What? 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 what I'm happened? sorry. That what was is bad. happening. I made a bad he's, joke. Yeah, he's being dumb. What say um, you, Chris? Any uh. Thing to add here. Are you playing Minecraft? <laughs> <laughs> not on our server. No. Um, I'm, you better not be. I'm building an ice castle. Pa castle? Uh, ice castle. Um, ice in regards to spoilers, I if it's something I'm really interested in, I'd prefer if people warn me that they're going to spoil something before. But again, it does. Yeah, th how long the thing has been out for? Like, um. Yeah. Yeah. No, I got you. So yeah, I I had never seen the Sixth Sense, so I knew that Bruce Willis was, you know, a ghost. Right. But even going into it, I was like, oh, 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 cool. Yeah, it's like like with, with Fight Club. Like I've thought yeah. about seeing Fight Club, but I know the plot twist, and there, you know, I don't know the plot. plot There's twist. a plot twist in Fight Club. No. Yes. I've never okay, seen then, Fight Club. Then we'll stop. <laughs> I mean, do you ever want to see Fight Club, babe? Yeah, probably eventually. Oh, okay. I, I just have no... Like, because I know the spoiler, I have no burning desire to see Fight Club. And it's just, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fight Club it's also, is on the list, though, for, for me. It's, all, I, it's also one of those movies that, like, people who deliberately... Who, like, idolize the wrong character, like, are super into. It's just like... Guys, you're not supposed to idolize the Joker or Rick from Rick and Morty. They're 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 terrible people. You're supposed to see that they're you're not you, you missed the point, guys. <laughs> I'm Pickle Rick. Pickle I'm Pickle Rick. Rick. As, as much as love I love, love dub dub. I do love Rick and Morty, but like True. guys, it's it's no. It's it's a great show, but like Rick is not a person to emulate your life after. He's per Perpetually lonely, drunk, and sad. That's you, no. Yeah, what's wrong with that? That, that, that sounds like you. That, that sounds like <laughs> me already. Except not well, really. I really need. I need to get caught up in Rick and Morty. I think it's on. Uh... Brian. It, it's likely on something. Oh, I think it's on HBO Max, and I'm. I think it's on Hulu, that. actually. Uh, if yeah, yeah, I was I gonna think, say that's how my. It might also be on HBO Max. I thought I saw it on there, and I'm I'm mooching off my brother's HBO Max account. So, are you well, truly he, family if you're not mooching off well, each he, other's he, uh, he, he streaming mooches accounts? Off, he mooches off my Netflix, and both me and my brother mooch off of Vanessa's Vanessa's Disney Plus. So. Uh, I mooch off my parents' Hulu and Disney Plus. Uh, Nat's family mooches off my Netflix. <laughs> and I mooch off of Nat's uh, Amazon Prime. So. There you go. <laughs> I and provide. I, also mooch off, I mooch off of Kevin's Verve, but. Oh, it's I actually not my Verve anymore. Yeah, hey, wait a minute. Wait, are you paying I'm, for the Verve? I'm paying for it. I've been paying for it. For like a couple of years now, actually. In, in all, in all yeah. fairness, your email address. It is still my email address. Yeah, I don't know how to change that. Yeah, don't don't bother. That's what I yeah, have it's gonna, it's gonna fuck up everything. I, mean, I feel like it logs me out more often. More often these days. same, like oh, recently. Okay. Good. I'm not it, the only one then. It logged it logged uh, me out recently, but also uh, I I haven't had a time to watch anything on there uh, since Clue uh, started. So I so it's like that makes sense. 
I'm we're getting caught up on my hero at the moment. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I that... nothing much is happening. Uh, what what's it? What, what's mind control guy's name? I forget. Shinzo. Shinzo. We... <laughs> yeah, Shinzo's got a dope new like uh, dope new um, voice thingy, Mabubul. I, I just, like, I just watched that. I literally just watched that right before the podcast. That's neat. Can't wait to watch Deku punch his face in. <laughs> Same. Uh, actually, I would much rather Deku punch the uh, what the the dupe of clone the. It's on HBO Max and Hulu. I, I can't is? wait to see that 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 punk ass bitch with the clones get his face punched in. You know, the one who gets karate chopped by Big Hand Girl all the time. Oh, he, he doesn't make clones. He clones people's powers. Oh, I don't fucking know. I haven't seen it. But thanks for the spoiler, Kevin. No, his no. powers have been shown he's, off. Yeah. 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 yeah he's, his powers yeah. were I'm shown off out. in a previous no. episode. In yeah. the tournament arc, he showed off his powers. He doesn't. See, I forgot the tournament arc, so. I think it's the tournament arc. Yeah. Well, that's your fault. Yeah. That's fair. Be because that's where you're introduced to him, and he's all like, <laughs> Class A will never defeat us, and just an annoying prick. I hate that guy. Although, I, that I guy do so have much. to say, I do I do love the bait and switch of the episode that I just watched. Where it looks like Ken, where when they Class A and B meet up, and he's doing his shit, and Kendo's walking toward him, and you think he's gonna get karate chop, and then Aizawa just fucking chokes him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's a good bait and switch. Even Aizawa was just sick of his shit. Like, shut the fuck up, you little shit. Um. Also, I still, I still love that meme. Oh, let's take the guy who controls people's minds and put him in general Gen Ed. <laughs> Yeah, you know. Yeah, that guy won't have any useful powers. Stick him in with the stick him in with the regular Joes. Well, it's because the whole thing is that the 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 test is not designed for, um, for that. It, the, the 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 hero entrance exam is just designed to test your strength, like not like the, the hero entrance exam is fucking stupid. Yeah. Well, yeah, and that's why they they they're they're giving him another chance. And meanwhile, Good. Mineta. Yeah, Mineta somehow. Minoma. I hate him. I hate him I, so much, too. Has he always had that little stem on top? Yes. Because I just noticed yeah. that. I, oh, I yeah. yeah, he's always had balls on top of his head. No, yeah, no, no, the, the stem. stem. The like stem the grape stem. The balls. No, I think the I grape stem is newer. Before. Oh, okay. I was also wondering that the other day. I, I, I also loved how the uh, the invisible girl, whose name I also forget all the time, starts with an H. Agakure? Yeah, that one. Um... She is just like, aren't you cold? She's like, yes, Barry. <laughs> I'm like, you, you guys should really come up with something like Violet Suit from Par for that poor girl. <laughs> for yeah. the Violet Suit from The Incredible. Sorry. Hey, oh, okay. I was about to out... say, what, what the fuck is a Violet no, Suit? Well, I figured, last, I figured out what he was last saying. Name. I, don't know, I don't know why I said Par instead of Incredibles, but you get the idea. Yeah. And it's like that poor woman. She is just freezing her... She's just freezing to death every time she goes outside, just so because of the fact. Aren't she's you cold? Invisible. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that that's a mood that I have all the time. Are you cold, Barry? Oh me, no, I'm never cold. Oh, I'm cold all the I'm time. Always that beach. You're always cold. I I'm a heater. No, you are always freezing your yeah, body temperature. Yeah, I'm I'm cold to you, but my outer to to myself. My outerior temperature. Also, well, I'm, I don't know. Never mind. Like, I'm I'm invincible. I've never heard it referred to that way. <laughs> You're that was a shitty fucking. That was an even worse transition. Um, wow, that that's <laughs> <certainly> <laughs> I... part of the reason why we talked about spoilers, or I kind of weaved this into the conversation, is we're starting a new segment starting next week. Uh, Media Club. You can kind of think of it as like a book club, except we're all going to be watching the same show or piece of media together. Um, a couple episodes a week, and then we're going to have a segment on the podcast where we're going to talk about it. So, the first show we're going to watch is Amazon's new animated superhero show called Invincible. We are yes. going to watch. We're going to watch the first two episodes. Uh, everyone can just watch it on their own time. We're going to watch it all separately, and then next Tuesday we're going to have a discussion about it, what happened, our theories, things like that. And we're not going to watch past those two episodes, so that way we all kind of stay together. It's going to be kind of like a book club where you don't read ahead of the club. Um, so that way, also you, the chat, can also watch along with us and participate in the conversations as well. So. Make sure you watch the first two episodes before next week, so you'll be fresh Spoiler and free. ready to talk. So okay, that's, my that's initial media club. thoughts. Um, I just want to put this out there because it's been a thought I've been having for weeks now. Um, 
every time I see screenshots of the what I'm presuming is the main hero, I'm like, why is J. Jonah Jameson wearing a superhero okay, costume? No, no, okay, is, what, one... is, is, is that some alternate universe thing that I'm... It, it is his voice, too. It is his that, voice. No, that is the best part. That's J.K. Simmons. JK, oh yeah. my god! But, but that is the main character's dad, actually. And that, that meme is yeah. a huge spoiler. Hey. <laughs> oh yeah, the meme is a huge spoiler. Oh yeah. I, but I, I, we'll find I out. Context. Yeah, I was about to say, I, I shared it in in our chat like maybe a few weeks ago and everyone's like that's a huge spoiler and i'm like i don't even know what this is i just Good. thought it was funny the the, the first time i saw the meme the first time i saw the meme i actually had to google like is the invincible meme think mark think a spoiler and like every article was like yes it's a spoiler don't watch the source yes it's a spoiler don't watch the sport source I'm like okay, well, guess I won't watch the source. <laughs> so I, I actually read this. It's based on a comic book that uh, came out early 2000s. I think I read them way back in the day when I used to like check them out from the library. Good shit. Don't I didn't really keep up with it, with it to see where it went. Um, if yeah, I think I know where the first season's going to end. It, it's don't talk about it. No, of course not. Um, but you have uh, ice cream. I do. Uh, it's like it was leftover ice cream. It's like uh, I got half a cup from uh, this weekend. So Vanessa mm. is wonderful and brought it to me. So, um, so yeah, we're doing that starting next week. Um, yeah, comics are good shit. Would recommend. Don't read ahead. Season two and three of the show are already confirmed too. Anyways, um, Ryan, what happened at your ice. ice arena? Oh, okay. So ice cream. About, uh, I think it was probably around this time last, this time last year, maybe, maybe a couple of months, maybe, uh, maybe less, um, ho uh, men's hockey league started back up and I usually square keep those games. This past Sunday was the first time that I saw refs wear masks during the games. Kind of weird. Ever since we started back up, and it was like, and it's just like right after the mask, uh, the CDC announcement or whatever. I'm like, why are you now wearing masks, as opposed to back when we were like in the shit? They were like required. Rona. I was just like, what? But yet, but yet, I still had to wear a mask, and I'm like, I'm well, well outside of six feet from anyone mm -hmm. without a mask and fully vaccinated so i was just i was just like that's weird and it's just like the first time in this whole thing that i saw refs wearing masks and they actually wore them during the game too they didn't before you don't see refs in the nhl wearing them during games why are the why are they wearing masks now did like league rules change or something I don't know. I'm never informed about rules like that, but why? But like, I don't know. Interesting. It was. It was. It was just weird. That. That is. Um. Yeah, I have about those uh, guidelines. Up, oh, you're uh, breaking up there. What? Yeah. What? <laughs> no, that was just me. Uh, that wasn't my internet. That was just. Me. The, the pace of it's like well you are cutting out so am well, i really not... yeah you were cutting out pretty bad slightly i think that was i think that, that one was just I... how she was like pacing herself no because yeah. well really breaking up i heard i heard i guidelines that's all i heard <laughs> yeah same <laughs> yeah i basically there all that I can hope is that the guidelines that have been outlined is because the masks are work or that bed the vaccine is working and that there isn't any sort of push from push from who? Exterior push from elsewhere. Gotcha. That's all yeah. I can hope. Um Well, I don't know I don't I don't know like the stances of like masks and the vaccines for the players and frankly I really don't give a shit on what their stance are stances are because they could vary and even the refs too but like the it, to enter the building you have to be wearing a mask um I'd say 
out of 10 people, out of 10, every 10 people going in, there's like three that aren't wearing masks at all. And even, and even for a while there, anyone who actually bothered to come watch these games, um, most of them weren't wearing masks. Mm. Granted, the, granted, even before the pandemic, no one was really coming to watch these games. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big so, mood, I understand. So, like, you're well, you're, you are, like, maybe 20 feet away from the next person in the stands. If and if you're really lucky, you're the only person there. But but still, it's just like there's they have rules at the door, and you still bother to walk right in. Whatever. Yeah, there's still a bunch of people at my like my my work sent out an email I think on like Monday, being like, yeah, we're still wearing masks, guys. So it's yeah. Company policy. And uh, like, put your damn mask back on. I, I still see people like I'm that guy at work. I'm fully vaxxed up. I'm where I walk around the office wearing a KN95 unless I'm in the lunchroom, which which uh, and like, but I still see other people like walking around with like them like below their like. There's this one person who comes in and it's always like the mask is down below her nose, and I'm just like, it's like don't what don't just don't wear a fucking mask then if it's below your nose it completely defeats the purpose of, of wearing a fucking mask mm -hmm. if i can I fit my big ass schnoz behind a uh mask y'all can do it's, the same it's not even that it's laziness like i can breathe like don't get me wrong i don't like walking around like outside or something like that where it's warmer than kn95s kn95s are hard as shit to breathe through but like just walking around the lab is fine because the air temperature is around like 70 ish degrees it's not super humid so like if i can wear one literally all day except for half an hour you can wear a surgical mask for you can wear a surgical mask too because those are way easier to breathe through if I could yeah. spend most of my last most of my summer last year in ninety degree heat wearing a face mask when I didn't need to, you can wear a face mask inside. Yeah. Seriously, it's like I don't care if you're vaccinated. It's company policy. Like it's one of those. I think it's one of those policies my company has. Like technically, we're not supposed to be listening to any music or podcasts on our earbuds, but they ain't gonna yell it. But it's just one of those things that people just go like. Eh, as long as you as long as you don't have like you know you have like one ear free then you you know we don't care all yeah. that much but this and this one it's another one of those rules where it's probably not going to be really enforced because even if though they threatens like hey you know we'll get you in trouble if you don't wear your fucking mask you know we're gonna tell on you or like uh write-ups i think was the threat i don't know what the fuck that means i've never gotten one so Ooh, I'm Steve. I'm a good boy. I'm a good noodle. I'm a good noodle. Having flexible hours is very nice for my not so very for my slightly variable sleep schedule. So, uh, works for me. Nice. You know what also works for me? A bad transition. Monica's movie of the week. Hey, I am still listening. I'm just gonna get some water. Okay. So don't um, don't don't go too long. No, no here's <laughs> I know you've been gone for a while. So so that's what I was gonna talk about. So I've been hella busy. Uh, there's been a lot that has happened in the last uh, however long I've been gone eight about months a month. or so. About yeah, something like that. Um, between me getting fully vaccinated, uh, Nat's car breaking down, and subsequently getting replaced. We haven't had a lot of time to sit down and watch movies, so there's only four that I can that <laughs> I'm able to talk about. So okay, uh, uh, so so the I uh, I promise I won't spend too too long on them, um, because I I normally just have quick clips notes. So the first one, so the first two were the last two we were missing on our Oscar list, which were Sound of Metal and Minari. Hmm. Uh, Sound of Metal is, uh, the one where it's about the metal drummer who blows out, uh, in the middle of a show and has to, uh, come to terms with living with deafness. It's sound design, it's sound Oscar is well-deserved because that movie would not work without its sound design. Nice. It's 
one of those movies I'm curious. Uh, y'all know Mark. Uh, obviously, Steve knows Mark. But you, the rest of you know Mark, right? Mm-hmm. Mark S? No. Mark Trombone S. Mark. Oh, yeah, yeah, Trom- no, Mark. Trombone Mark. Yeah, sorry. I know a couple Marks. No, I, I, I was talking. I, Mark I thought R, the concept was obvious. But anyway. No, um, I know. I got you now. Uh, I- uh, but I'm very curious to hear what, like, his perspective is on stuff like this. Uh, just how well it, it is represented. Um, from what I understand, a lot of the act, uh, actors are uh, were hired from the deaf community. Uh, Paul Racy, who uh, plays, like, the head of this kind of deaf community leader. Uh, he himself is not deaf, but he both of his parents were, so he is fluent in ASL. So it's it wasn't my necessarily favorite out of all all of the best picture ones, but mm-hmm. its sound design was really incredible and its Oscar was very well designed. Uh the second one uh was Minari, which is about a Korean family in the eighties, uh c- leaving uh their life in California to try to move to the country and start a farm. It's very cute. Very, it's almost a little too wholesome for my like post Game of Thrones, post COVID <laughs> viewing, where it's like, where does the shoe just epically drop in this type of movie? Like it's like there's there's certain hardships, sure, but it's it's a pretty wholesome family story. They have and... a farm on a nuclear testing site. <laughs> but it's it's a uh, very it's very cute. Um. There is this little kid actor in it that just steals the show, and he is just so goddamn adorable. And I feel like a kid actor, like slight tangent. I feel like kid, how good your kid actor is, could really make or break your movie. Truly, and uh, he definitely was very, very cute. I'm like, he definitely, he should have gotten more recognition. Goddamn it! But Looking at you, Star Wars Episode One. <laughs> well, I mean, speaking of. Sorry, sorry. I, I was gonna say just before we go too far away from that. Yeah. Just my my, my note on that is that uh, I don't think a child actor necessarily will make your movie, but it's probably the fastest way to break your movie. Yeah. Like I, I, I will agree with that. It's I the fastest like, way to kill a movie, I think. The, the little girl in uh, that plays Scott's daughter in Ant Man is fucking perfect. Stellar. <laughs> Cassie. I love yeah, her. Cassie. She's, so, she's adorable. Well, now she's all but, grown up. Like, yeah, well, I mean, it, sure, yes. Um, but anyways, like, yeah. But there's all, but you'll remember the bad ones too. And then the, um, the other notable thing about Minari is one of the awards. I'm so mad that I couldn't there post Oscars to get all my proper thoughts out. Um, but uh, one of the notable things is Minari uh, won for best supporting actress. Um, I God, I should have had the ac- actress's name out there but she was extremely good in it uh she had a pretty incredible transformation uh Mm -hmm. throughout the throughout the movie i think she had the biggest um change the most notable arc change uh in terms of the way she portrayed her character and it was very well deserved and her acceptance was just absolutely adorable nat says uh it was the grandma yes the grandma for in what context in minari uh, she plays the grandma in this family. Oh, okay. Uh, like, it's this family of four, and then, uh, slight spoilers, uh, grandma co- eventually comes to live with her. Okay, okay. Uh, and she plays the grandma. Okay. Grandma. Uh, but, uh, but she had a, a really great performance. And, uh, just the one, uh, slight tangent before I continue with my movie corner... Um, in terms of the Anthony Hopkins thing, his Oscar was not, uh, it wasn't well-deserved because it was definitely well-deserved. It was just in poor taste. I did not watch the Oscars and I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, TLDR, um, everyone was bank, was assuming that Chadwick Boseman was going to win Best Actor, uh, because Uh. of... Yeah. everything going on and then uh not only and the thing with the oscar ceremony is two weird things happen uh they did not announce best picture last uh they saved best actor and actress for last Nat was so mad he was writing about it for so for so long afterwards uh that is friend. weird um and then uh to make it 
uh, worse, Best Actor was the last one announced, and Anthony Hopkins was not there to accept it. <laughs> oh. Because, uh, because he's like, I'm in Wales. I don't want to travel to England when I'm 80. Six. Uh, oh, fuck that shit, dude. Stay and home. and and the Oscars were like, no, you can't accept it in Wales. But you, you see, have to go to. And then, like the the last award's supposed to be like the biggest, so like. Yeah, and the. Idea that's why the last part... picture should be last. I, I agree with that and, on that one. And also the fact that even with best picture, there will be somebody that will be there to accept it. Right. Yeah, because it's a, it's like there's a whole crew of people. There'll be a fucking key grip or some shit. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> best boy will be there. The best boy will be uh, there. Uh, thank. They, Thank I, you. I, 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 I'm not prepared. They didn't give me anything prepared. <laughs> yeah, but I'm pretty sure I'm quoted on uh, when I saw the father uh, initially was uh, that if if he was nominated in a different year, he would have won. But yes, it was an incredible performance, but it was definitely given in port. Yeah. So you. So wait, what? Would, Chadwick Boseman was in uh, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. I have. It's, that is the uh, first time I've heard that title. It, uh, from I know very little about it. Uh, essentially, uh, it's about uh, jazz and this was a uh, jazz movie, right? And it was and it was adapted from a play. Those are the only two things I know about it off the top of my head. And um, that Vi- Viola Davis also was expected to win Best Act- Actress and she, uh, lost out to Frances McDormand. Hmm. Yeah, I was yeah. When Chadwick Boseman died, I was just like Vanessa told me news. I'm just like, wait, wait, what? That doesn't check. That what? I'm so confused. Cause like you know he's like forty something, and I was just like, oh, that actually and, happened. Huh. And the sadder part is that he got sick right around the height of his fame. So like the, the pretty much every movie he's mo- uh, that he did in the last like five years where yeah. with him putting on a brave face which is yeah, wow in, the, in like black panther he, he's jacked as fuck that dude was probably on chemotherapy at the same time like how yeah Education. incredible person uh yeah and he was visiting like sick kids in the hospital who were sick with the same fucking mm-hmm. thing that he had and no one fucking knew until it was until like like no one knew until he died no one, from what I understand, no one but his like closest family knew. Not even like, uh, like the like the the Marvel execs or anything like that knew knew a fucking thing about it until he's probably gone. because they would have publicized it or like treated him differently or like gave him like lesser roles, like not as intense roles, and he wouldn't have become like the the hero he is now. So, uh, do you have any? Uh, I'm gonna. I w- I'd like to take this off to a tangent, but uh, unless oh you have any more, Monica, I have two more. Uh, okay. The- uh, one of them I already talked about a little bit on Minecraft, which was Annihilation. Uh, oh, so good. I want to yeah. see that. It is it. it is a good movie and is the epitome of what female representation should be and what sort of all representation should be, which is casual as shit. Yeah, uh, exactly. It, that's what, like, I, I, I mentioned it on Minecraft, but I was just like, holy shit. I, if this was, like, I didn't realize until after the movie was over. Shit, this was a girl power movie and I didn't even notice. Which yeah. is... Which is, like, uh, I, I think I also mentioned how poorly The Flash handled its girl power episode, unironically using the phrase, hashtag feminism. And I'm just like, that, oh, just, guys, no, that's, stop. Please, you're, you're, you, you've just said feminism back five years with this one TV episode. I, so I, I, I joke, but, like, it was... Like the, Annihilation was subtle. It, uh, it, 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 but whereas the Flash episode just beats you in the face with its fist repeatedly, and it's just like, guys, you can't make up for three years of bad women of of terribly writing women with one episode, and then go go back to terribly writing women. It's not, no. I'm yeah. sorry, I, I have many opinions on that episode. <laughs> Good, good, good kitty representation right here. Good, good female representation happening right now. She won't take uh, treats from the hand yet, so. Oh, oh. Not, n- not as good for cat camera stuff. It, it's, it's all good. Just. Is just, the nomination on any streaming service? Um. I think I saw it on Prime. I, I think it might be on Prime, but I know that Nat Rem did it from the library when we watched it. I, I remember okay. the one thing I remembered is I thought Did you the, smell the treats? Uh, for no spoilers, the ending thing was really 
trippy it's and weird, and I, I, I guess I liked it. And I also thought the soundtrack in that uh, during that was really interesting. Soundtrack is, and the sound design for that also is very, very good. The whole uh, concept as a sci-fi nerd was really interesting to me too. So uh, yeah. And then uh, the most recent one, uh, because Nat's like, we gotta watch a movie. You're gonna be back on the podcast. We gotta make sure there's some fresh shit. <laughs> Uh, so, this past Sunday, we watched Almost Famous. Oh, I love that movie! Never heard of it. Uh, it's oh, my wow. boss's favorite movie. Sounds familiar. Almost Famous. So, basically, it's a semi, uh, semi-loosely autobiographical story of Cameron Crowe, uh, uh, about, uh, writing for the Rolling Stones and all of the, the band's interacted with uh in the in terms of the story itself it's about this kid who who whose mom was very against him uh listening to rock and roll his sister is like fuck you mom i'm leaving home because you're a bitch uh <laughs> where in which the mom is played by francis mcdormand so hey we'll go circle pretty star started cast from what i just looked at yes very much so and uh, it's a, it's kind of this coming of age story of this kid kind of going out in this like rock and roll uh, lifestyle uh, with trying to get interviews with the bands. And again, it's uh, it's loosely based off of the director writer Cameron Crowe's experiences of writing for the Rolling Stones. Uh, the the fictional band in the oh, well fictional. Uh, the band in the movie is Stillwater, which there was a Stillwater band in the 70s, but it's not based off of them. Uh, from what I've researched, it's uh, based on largely his experience with the Allman Brothers, uh, following them around touring and uh, getting interviews. Yeah, it's a movie I need to rewatch because I've seen it once I, and I liked it, but I felt like there was a lot I was missing. I'd just like to point out that the main character is uh, also well known for, ha for being naked and having a blue dick. Uh, he's Dr. Manhattan in Watchmen. Oh. And, like, the newer ones? Wait, who are you talking Kevin, about? Uh, the main character, Billy... Billy. Oh, Billy Crudup? Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't call uh, him the main character. Yeah, well, he's... He, he, well, he's... In all, in, okay, in, in all fairness, he's listed first in the cast, so... Probably because... Well, well he, he had the most star power at the time because this was... Yeah. Uh, uh, like, this was Kate Hudson's big uh, acting debut, her first... And... And, it, and it's a very, it's, for a movie about sex, drugs, and rock and roll, it's very weirdly wholesome. Yeah, it's like, very tame. It is, hey, it sex, is, drugs, and rock and roll. I was expecting more boobs. You <laughs> well, you got only a little bit of boobs there, Kevin. There's only sure. a little bit of boobs. Just a little bit. Uh, um, but oh, it, God. But it's, but it's very good. I'm sorry, you were going to say something. Um, I mean, but when it comes to, like, cast lists on IMDb and stuff, it's typically person that got paid the most is at the top that's in my understanding of how typically cast lists are done top build top build also, yeah is also, top what build you, what, did you, what did you mean by newest one kevin there's only one watchman movie isn't there a watchman show there is a watchman show but i'm pretty Nothing sure dr to manhattan do. isn't in it i don't know i've never because seen any blue watchman dick or thing. what i've never what? seen anything from watchman because I... of his blue dick or what yeah maybe i don't know some people are into blue dick not me, but the Navi are. Hey. I'll Navi my see. I'll Navi. I'll Navi. Navi, Navi my way out. out. I'll Navi, Navi, Navi my way Navi. out. I don't. I anyway, don't know. Um, almost I, famous. I, 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 uh, I think. I think. Did Kevin just have a stroke while trying to make a pun? Oh, I think he did. <laughs> Which is why you're not made of Tuesday. He'll Navi <laughs> himself out is what he tried to say, and I tried to correct him, and I didn't fucking work. Nope. It's a terrible... Either way, it would, I don't think that worked. But Almost Famous is uh, currently on Prime. Uh, okay. for, for it's, it's very good. It's a nice little coming-of-age story uh, with kind... And it was... And for someone who grew up around a lot of that type of music uh, with my dad playing it all the time, it, it was a very... Very nice little uh, coming of age story. It was cute. Would recommend, and it is hilarious too. The France. While I didn't like Frances McDormand in Nomadland, she fucking kills it in Almost Famous as the mom of just that blue 
blue deck, huh? Usually it's blue balls. Uh, sorry, I'm messaging Christine's dad. Um, uh, it's about I'm the cameras. I'm the maniac. Oh, okay. It's me. I'm the maniac. Wow, we stacked three Ryan things back to back. That's awkward. Yeah, can we? Can we? Yeah, I was gonna say, can we do it in? What is it listed as? Can we do it in reverse order? What it's in right sure. now? Sure. Why not, bud? Let's talk so, about your jerseys. So Saturday, early Saturday morning, I get a notification uh, from eBay that a jersey that I have on my watch list, the listing is going to end in 15 minutes. Normally, this doesn't happen because I don't fuck with anything bit like as far as bidding. I usually go for buy it now. I don't fuck with bids at all. And on the rare occasions that I do 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 get stuff on bid, I uh, sniped them in the last second, apparently. Um. But this one, uh, mm -hmm. so I put I put my bid I put the bid in, and then eBay's like, "Cool, we got your bid, but be careful. There's one other person watching this item." So mm -hmm. I'm just like, "Ah, oh, fuck! I just it's it's 8 a.m. on a Saturday. I just want to stay in bed and go back to sleep potentially. But now I got to sit here and watch to make sure that no one fucking outbids me." Um. So after like five minutes. The realization hits me. I'm the other watcher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a couple of weeks ago, my original eBay account is uh, got compromised, and I can't I can't recover it for whatever oh, reason. Oh, that's right. I can't recover for whatever reason. Um, anytime I've called eBay and they've done a security check, like ask me security questions, um, I fail it because. I don't know what these questions are. They're asking me shit that doesn't pertain to me, even though they say that the, it, the information should. But uh, the last time that I called, um, I guess I asked the guy, "Could I still you? Could I still? Could I just make another account but still use my phone number so I can use it for like two factor or whatever?" And he's like, "Yeah, we just have your email on file. You can use your phone number for whatever." And so I was like, "All right." <laughs> So I, I, once I hung up, I made a new account. And I'm like, great, now i got to find all the shit that I had in that watch list on my old account on the new one, this jersey being one of them. <laughs> so, long story short, I'm the maniac. <laughs> <laughs> the call was coming from inside the account. <laughs> I got, and I, naturally I won. And I'm still, wait, I'm still waiting. Oh, good, I'm, I'm glad. I, I was worried. <laughs> uh, I'm still waiting on a notification saying that my uh, jersey got shipped, but I uh, still have yet to get anything. That said, Sports Corner. Sports Corner, the place for sports. One of these days we're going to come up with a fucking theme song. If Ryan would write one. <laughs> Ryan was going to write one and that record one on trombone. And it was going to be great. I was going to play it every time the, the gift came up. It was going to be awesome. Man, if, I got the job, if I got the job that I applied to recently, I would have been so happy. I would have had so much more time. But, you know. Shit happens. Mm -hmm. Uh, just as a general statement, we have maskless fans fighting each other in the stands of various sports <laughs> events. Nature is healing, people. <laughs> God damn it. Um, starting with baseball, the Houston trash can bangers are providing fully furnished apartments for every player in their minor league system at any level. Sorry, the who now? The Houston Trash Can Bangers. Is that their actual oh, name? Uh, otherwise, otherwise known as the Houston Astros. Okay, there you go. I, have, <coughs> I've, I I've like talked. I don't know enough about sports. To I've to talked about why the why I would call them that on many occasions because they were caught cheating. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Using a garbage can to know what pitches are coming. Um, I'm certain you talked about this before, but sorry that those many times the, those co that combination of words just went. <laughs> I will, I will forever refer to them as that. Hopefully, 
Um, like father, like son, Angel Hernandez Jr., an umpire for NCAA baseball currently, is just as bad at calling balls and strikes as his dad and current MLB umpire, Angel Hernandez. Ah! The audacity of a human being to call a pitch a strike when it was thrown at the guy's feet is insane. Even I would, even I know that, and I don't, I don't, like, do baseball all that much come on boat boat owner yeah thanks for the sub patrick for those that don't know where the strike zone is it ends at your knees yes yes patrick says where's your hair is the bomb.com thanks (laughs) sorry this pitch was at the dude's feet and i know and and like okay the clip Mm -hmm. that this uh this is being referred to the dude's like six five the batter to be fair, but you still don't call something that low a strike. No. There's box. Builder, Denise. And it's a big box. They're in. Uh, I mean, it depends side, on how tall you are. Side you note. Side note. There is a Twitter that every morning posts report cards for umpires from the previous night's games, and it grades oh. them on consistency and accuracy, and it's great. Love it. It's almost like a, how when you find out that as a as a rider you have a score on Uber. Yeah. yeah. Did you know that? Mm-hmm. I did actually. Well, like the well, buyers and sellers on eBay, you have a rating on eBay. Oh yeah. As a buyer, like I how rela- like, how reliable are you? Do you pay this person? Yeah. Anyways, like, sorry, is it I... hard to pay people? I guess. Um, anyway. Uh, before they became the Oakland Athletics, they were the Philadelphia Athletics. And not only that, in Philly, they won more World Series, five versus two, played in more World Series, <laughs> World Series, eight versus seven, played in more World Series games in Philly, 23 versus 20, and clinched more titles in Philly, three versus two, than the Philadelphia Phillies. Hmm. Maybe that weird ass mask got us something to do with. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to explain that. Yeah, uh, Patrick, last... as a I, I, as a rider for Uber, you have a score too. <coughs> yeah, because that Anyways. matters. Well, I, you know, I guess that it does matters. matter you're, because because you're, you're, if your score is shitty enough, like good Uber drivers can pass you up. Yeah, and you're stuck with you, shittier Uber you are drivers. you are letting like a stranger into your car, and if they're being a shitty person inside your car, then yeah. Oh yeah, I guess oh, yeah. if 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 they're trying to start shit, like you don't want them in your car. Yeah. yeah. Uh, last week I said there were no more active MLB players from the Backyard Baseball 2003 video game with the LA Angels release of Albert Pujols. Well, meets back on the menu, boys, as the Los Angeles Dodgers signed the 41-year-old pool holes to, for the uh-huh. remainder of the season. <laughs> uh, much that, much to most people's surprise, it wasn't in another American League team, so they could just use him as a permanent designated hitter because he's 41 and <laughs> really can't run anymore. Um, he he went to a nas- Yeah. He went to a, a, a National League team where he will have to run and will have to run more often and actually have field but he's play he's he was he uh came up as a first baseman first baseman don't really have to go anywhere so you just stand there and catch a ball pretty much and sometimes throw it a second yeah although at one point he had more stolen bases than a guy that that the mets paid like 300 million dollars for 10 years for <laughs> Oh, wait, no, I, I keep, every time we talk about salaries, I'm like, it's not by Emily Bonia Day yet. Stop. <laughs> it's not <laughs> Stop what? Stop flexing that. Because it's, you're too early. You're two months too early. What's did he get, what? Did he get in, Patrick, did he really get injured or is he just fat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, over to hockey. Uh, last Wednesday, the Seattle Kraken made their first transaction in team history with the signing of Luke Henman to a three-year entry-level contract. Mm-hmm. New, nice. Jer- uh, New Jersey Devils goaltender Mackenzie Blackwood Start. only realized his breathing was back to normal about three weeks ago after mm-hmm. contracting COVID in January. Whoa. 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 Monica! Up. <laughs> I accidentally hit the wrong button. I'm doubled! Haha, <laughs> there's two of me. Oh, now I'm gone. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, 
I've ridiculously zoomed in. Okay, we're back. Yes, Patrick, historic. I get it. By the way, donate to my St. Jude charity going on right now. Here's the link in the chat. What's Continue, happening? Ryan. What's happening? <laughs> Reddit, Reddit user Sauce0907 had nothing Ooh. better to do than do the analysis of notes and chords for NHL goal horns. <laughs> but also... Hawks have, the, the, the Hawks have a chord of D flat, F, and A flat. Okay. Which is a major triad and shares the same notes as the a Dallas major Stars. Triad? Uh, but also, like, where's the sauce? I don't know. Ask him. Here okay. dying. Uh, the Carolina <laughs> oh. Hurricanes uh, appeared to have a packed house last night for their game one bout with the Nashville Predators. Bef and before anyone gets up in arms about this, to enter the building, you were, you were required to have a mask. And there, were, there was no spacing restrictions. Okay. Uh, North, I have North thoughts Carolina about that soon. We'll, we'll talk about it after it's Sports Corner. North Carolina's governor may have lifted the mask mandate, or is about to, but made it a point to mention that the NHL required fans to wear masks and that the fans must follow those rules over the states. Uh, vaccines were available for fans at the game, and the governor himself sounded the hurricane storm siren at the beginning of the game to kick things off. Oh, that's nice. Neat. The, Car the Hurricanes won. I oh, think nice. it was five to two was the final. Damn. Before and before I switch sports, if you don't watch hockey or sports in general, watch the Tampa Bay Lightning Florida Panthers playoff series. This shit is fucking wild. These teams genuinely hate each other. Oh, okay. So this is going after each other? Game one was fucking chaos. Okay. And during the regular season, you know, you, you didn't really see a lot of this. They are still going. Game two is going on right now. They're still going at it. <laughs> Fuck them and, up. And oddly enough, this is the first time that both teams met or meeting in the playoffs in team in in either of their team history. Franchise history? Yeah. Hey, thank you so much for the donation. Uh, <laughs> Say liberate what? what? Liberate. <laughs> Liber... Liberty. <sighs> oh, I missed it. it Charity Egality. I don't know. I, I don't know. Pretty sure it'll explain in chat. It's French. Fuck the French. Yep. Thank you, though. There are creative Michael ways it's to French announce. Here. It's French, I think. <laughs> <laughs> there are creative ways to announce your team's schedule for an upcoming season for the NFL. The Bears did. Uh, mixed. The Bears mixed paint, which is odd. I think last year the Detroit Lions announced their schedule in Animal Crossing. They did indeed. Oh, I remember yeah. that. <laughs> That's like, good. And then there's, this year, it's what the Chargers did. They went with uh, showing off their 2021 opponents as Pop-Tart flavors as a thread on Twitter. What? Um... That's certainly creative. Uh, that is a way I think you creative can do that is a word. Uh, and I'll just go through them. Uh, the Ravens was just a picture of a. I'm assuming it's a raven. Could have That's very well been a crow eating a pop tart. I'm gonna kill you. Uh, Bengals was cement flavored. <laughs> okay. I like uh, the cement. Browns were baked beans flavored. Cowboys for a great value brand blueberry. <laughs> the Broncos were dead leaves. Texans ground beef. The Chiefs were just a random pink frosted pop tart with ketchup on it. <laughs> for some reason. Don't understand this logic. I don't either. What is happening? The Raiders were Axe body spray, which is, you know, on brand, kind of. Uh, the Vikings were toddler pop tarts. Half-eaten grapes flavored. What? What? The Patriots were just regular unfrosted strawberry. <laughs> no, no <laughs> edits. Unfrosted uh, strawberry? Blah. Uh. uh well, the frosting uh, left for um Tampa. But... <laughs> <laughs> well, and actually, yes, so hold on. I mean, 
no shit on great value pop tarts. Great value pop tarts are pretty good in my opinion. Okay, but it's the Cowboys though. Okay, that's fair. Uh, the Giants were Facebook. The Eagles were ranch wait, dressing. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Are we, I'm sorry. Are we still popped? This yeah, the there's. Place? Yeah, we're almost done though. How can you be a face? What? 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 Am I? Am well, I having a stroke? I'll, fi I'll figure this one out. The Steelers were TikTok. Oh, you mean the how they announced the it, or it's pop tart flavors? No. So, so pop wait. TikTok flavored pop tarts. Did they switch social media interns like when one went on break and he just forgot what the topic was? I think they just, I think they just fit, they just gave their social media intern whatever drugs they found on the streets of L.A. <laughs> Fix it. I get, I get the joke with the Steelers, but it still doesn't make any sense. And uh, Washington was earthworms. I would have, well, I would have liked to have known what the Bears were, but I think, but I assume we don't, we division. don't, we we don't right. play, we don't play the Chargers this year. Um, NFL running back Frank Gore turned 38 on Friday, after two ACL tears while he was in college in Miami. Miami, many thought he wouldn't last in the NFL. He responded be, by becoming third all time in rushing yards, scoring a touchdown in three decades. Playing in 241 of 256 games. Wow. And still in the NFL while his son is playing Division One college football. Nice. Wow. Yeah. What if he played his son eventually? Oh, it wow. could very. It, he doesn't. He, I don't think he plans on stopping anytime soon. That'd be good. And he's a, he's a running back. Yeah. With the CDC's announcement about vaccinated individuals not needing to wear face masks, the NFL said masks are no longer required for vaccinated players and staff, which is good news for Frank, whereas he was probably in the first round of vaccines for those who were like 60 and over because he's really fucking old. <laughs> and, for, and, for Patriots, and for Patriots coach Bill Belichick, who just couldn't seem to figure out how to wear a face mask last season. <laughs> Although it's bad news for basically the entire entirety of the Buffalo Bills team, as most of them are either anti-vax or COVID deniers. <laughs> I picked the wrong fucking team, the bandwagon. <laughs> What what is the percentage for that? I don't I don't know and I don't care. That's fair. I uh, don't Detroit, care. <laughs> Detroit Lions head coach and head nutcase Dan Campbell wants to have a pet lion at the team facility and would feed it his arm for a Super Bowl. Okay. His arm? Oh, I guess the Lions are never gonna win the Super Bowl. This dude's fucking crazy. <laughs> this was the kneecap guy, right? This was the kneecap guy. You're gonna bite off okay. some kneecaps. If they did that, I'd become a Lions fan. I would not. I want to see that. <laughs> Honestly, I, any man who's, dedic who's dedicated enough to his sports team to feed his arm to a fucking lion, I'll, I'll give him. I'll give him props. No, give him the fucking Lombardi Trophy for that. <laughs> <laughs> but and just him, not the Lions. <laughs> And finally, it's taken almost an entire year for the Washington football team to come up with a permanent name. What is Meanwhile, it? in the Canadian oh. Football League, uh, the former Edmonton Eskimos just randomly announced they will have a new team name for the upcoming season and are currently going simply as the Edmonton football team. I can't wait for eventually everyone to just be their city football team. The Chicago football team. Well, the New York football team. The New York second football team. <laughs> the New York third football team. <laughs> we got three football teams. Does New York actually have three football teams? No. Uh, no. New York State does. New York City has two. Although the, the Jets are technically based in New Jersey. but mm. Nice. Um, what I was going to go for was the whole, like, they were letting people in and they were requiring masks. Is that like you know the CDC lifted their guidelines or whatever, saying like, hey, if you've got a, if you've been vaccinated, you theoretically don't need to wear your mask anywhere anymore, kind of thing. And then like the question immediately became, well, how do they police that? And like, don't I, I don't see a way around this that you're gonna be required to carry around your vaccination card, like everywhere well, for the next the couple years. I, I was just talking about this at work today with uh, one of the my chromatography meeting where. Uh, I, I just got my uh, I just got my vaccine card like laminated and shit, but like some of my oh I would not have done that. What? I would not oh, have we, done we, that. We we have, we have the originals as well, but uh, okay, you got a copy of it laminated. Uh, yeah, a copy of it. Okay, laminated. good. Because uh, because you're you're gonna have to get another one in like right, months a eventually. Anyway, 
Uh, That's what those extra two slots are for. Yeah, people are selling vaccine cards now, like fake ones. Really? Like, Get the fucking vaccine. It's not hard. It doesn't hurt you. It's I'm fucking alive. free. Go fuck yourself. It is free, too. It's free. Don't yeah, get I it. Mean, you will feel like shit, but you get a day off of work. Kind of nice. Your mileage may vary with uh, how well, you feel. Hey, you could still claim to feel like shit and take a day off of work anyway. <laughs> also true. Also very true. I do, now, me, I did feel like shit and actually did, and I actually had to take a day off of work because there was no way I was going to be able to function at work. But you, if you don't, but I know that. You know, your as you said, your mileage varies depending on how your hard your vaccine kicked your ass. Well, also you could just be a good person and do it for the good of the, your community. Yeah. That too. What? Take a day off of work? No. No. no get, get the, the vaccine. vaccine. Well, yeah. Steve, what are you talking about? Wait a minute. I, just to confirm, I'm fairly certain. Are we all fully vaccinated? I think so. Yes. We yes. Hang out. I got mine like uh, almost two weeks ago. Mike got his right. He got his first one. Okay, well, close enough. I, I am. Think he goes next week. Okay, so we're all very close. To that. Yeah. Yeah, I am working on a plan for a full in-person podcast. Ooh. Um, that I'll send you all details later. That'll be a little bit of a, a surprise, um, for the audience about when it will happen. But well, now I, I'm about to say they know now. No, they don't know when though. They, 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 they don't, don't know, know when. They don't know when. Yes, it could be any week. It could be next week. Who knows? Um, uh, we'll talk about that later. Though. My it's second not shot. Be it, next week. My second shot. It kicked my ass, but I still went into work because I'm a fucking crazy person. But I only stayed for like two hours. I only stayed there for two hours just to get the two things I needed done. That's fair. Yeah. the The weirdest thing about my second shot, um, is that it was a lot of my symptoms weirdly mirrored when i got concussed uh in terms of like the brain fog and fatigue it was kind of freak i just felt like i had i i just felt like i had like the flu minus the cough minus the cough and the congestion hmm. me it was like the worst it was worse than any hangover i've ever had yeah i i, I just i was just kind of lightheaded and just very generally feeling under the weather weather but like i got mine at like 10 30 in the morning on one day and then i think 9 30 p.m the next day i felt fine and my symptoms didn't start kicking in until like i think about like i don't know 5 p.m or so so nice um i expect we'll have to get we'll have to go through that uh every year uh every year or every six months or so from now on It'll probably be every... I mean, it depends what you got. I mean, Pfizer claims it'll, theirs is effective for six months, so... I think Moderna and Pfizer are... I mean, They're Moderna pretty much Pfizer on par. Work, uh, yeah, Moderna and Pfizer are both RNA, so RNA vaccines, so I would wait... They work through the same mechanism. I'd wager they probably have the same effectiveness, but, you know, being... Of course, you know, scientists are going to test the shit out of it, you know, to confirm yeah. that, but, you know... They, I did see a, a thing on Twitter today that Biden tweeted out that, um, oh yeah, that uh, he was saying that like, oh, the government's partnered with Uber and Lyft, and Uber and Lyft are oh, I are, are giving free rides to vaccine sites. I was like, that's kind of cool, I guess. Couple things so, wrong with that though. Couple things so wrong great with that. For the Uber drivers and Lyft yeah, drivers, and but... so my my coworker Tony is an Uber driver. He he doesn't drive people right now. He switched to pure um, food. Uh, at the start oh, okay. of COVID, and he's still just doing food. But but he was like, yeah, I, I got that notification last week, and I was kind of like, so you're you're inviting unvaccinated clearly people. unvaccinated people into your vehicle, and like that's a red flag. But then also, I then made the comment of, well, also like, what percentage of the people that haven't been vaccinated is transportation their holdup? Right. Like you know, I think that percentage is super small. Like, if people want the vaccine, they'll find a way to get to go anyone to get it. Can, I'm about to say, anyone can get the vaccine now. It's just... Like, yeah, as long as you're over I 5, uh, 12. To get mine. So my, bro my brother drove to, like, southern fucking Illinois to get his. Wow. He just got, like, the Johnson Johnson, but uh, mm -hmm. still. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the, the whole thing I was thinking is, 
I don't think anyone's holdup is like, oh, I can't get there today. Like, that just doesn't seem like your priorities are right. There should be like, I don't know, like give people tax breaks for getting it or something. Or like a stimulus. Ooh, the next stimulus. If you get the code vaccine, you get the next stimulus, then people would go get it. Oh, yeah. People yeah, would go I get it. Like, Another 1400 like... bucks, people? <laughs> There's like, some ethical I, guidelines there that are being oh, that, crossed, that is, but that is some super eth. That just sound no. I I I can't get behind that one. That's fucked up. <laughs> it, it would be a little weird because then it's like getting back in line. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get more shots. <laughs> it's, it's like that meme. I know the power of all five vaccines. You, you mean the one that I I yep. sent? Yeah, uh, that, one. that where the guy literally looks like Michael B. Jordan. I, yep. Yeah, he does. Oh I saw those on TikTok. I think those were TikToks. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. on TikTok. Yeah. I saw it a while ago, but I. I couldn't refind it, and then it came up in my feed again. I'm like, oh shit! Now I can send it. I, yeah. I love it. At there the it is. For more vaccine information, check out cdc.gov. Yeah, yeah. Like, you motherfucker. Did you also, did there, there was also one. I don't, this one was on a TikTok, but it was a guy who, who who he's like, yeah, I got my vaccine from some guy in, in an alleyway, and then they're talking about it, and he's like, yeah, but I can't feel my left leg all of a sudden. Is, it, is that normal? I think it's kicking in. And his friends are like, dude, I don't think you got the vaccine. And then he's like talking, and he's like, he's like going over all these crazy symptoms. At the end, he's like, but yeah, at least. It wasn't Johnson and Johnson, right? And they're all laughing. Yeah, I, I literally <laughs> just saw that. Yeah, and then he falls over like Dubreka, 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 Dubreka. Oh, the Dubreka vaccine, cool. Uh, they told me to rec refer some friends, so I gave your guys his names and social security. Uh, social security <laughs> they're all freaking out. I didn't know you guys were anti-vax. We're not anti-vax. We're anti-Dubreka. <laughs> Dubreka. <laughs> it's a really good video. Um, I highly recommend it um i can find it it's fine you gotta talk about bethesda oh yeah i'll just break i just saw like something on twitter that bethesda announced uh starfield and that it's only for xbox and pc and i'm just is it like, official starfield reportedly confirmed as exclusive to xbox and pc because bethesda so said that it? after the, bethesda made it a point to say that that oh well, actually no, they made it a point to say that they were not in control of it or something well, that I, that I didn't that I didn't look into. I just Ooh. saw the the exclusive thing, and I'm just like, what's Micro the point of being exclusive to Xbox or PlayStation anymore? Uh, seriously, like, have I'm playing like I'm playing on I'm playing Horizon Zero Dawn, which was originally a PlayStation exclusive, now on my PC, which I'm very grateful for. It's a great game. Oh, but that's the stuff not now coming to. Steve says, but that's the stuff not coming to PlayStation has been known for a few months now gross it's like why it's game exclusives are stupid. it's gatekeeping like it, it's gatekeeping forcing people if like if they really want to play a game to get a new console it's like it's the whole count it's still the con I mean, that's what console wars are about it's about money for the corporations just get a pc if you get a pc you can pretty much play every game out there Pretty much, with some exceptions, like yeah. God of War and um... well, yeah, but even even then, like PlayStation's making it, a, Sony's making it a point to bring more games to PC. Yeah. Are they going to bring as Detroit being right. human? I don't know. Because I'm oh, that yeah. might that might be on if that's on PlayStation Play or whatever, PlayStation Now. I might have it on my PC already. Because I want I want you to play that, and I want to help you. Okay. I'm mad with level, of, level of stress. <laughs> Level of stress. I've heard uh, moderate things. I've heard mixed things on that one. Oh, I uh, like it. I I just wait, I just killed one of the characters and I'm mad about it. What so, about which, Minecraft which Java? Game? I which killed... game I spaced oh, out for? Uh, like... Detroit Become Human. Yeah. Oh. Um... Chris played through it. I watched some of it. it. Looked good. I played through it. I sat down and I played it through it the entire day. That's all we did. Yeah, like day. I I brought over my PlayStation one night and you just played it. It was yeah. We did we morning till the evening. Yep. Well, of course you can play Minecraft Java on PC. That's the only place you can play Minecraft Java. Okay. What are you talking about, Patrick? Are you memeing right now? The big shit show is going to oh, be when Elder Scrolls yeah. 6 has finally come out, and it's not for PS5. <laughs> oh, yeah. PC. Well, 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 when Elder Scrolls 6 comes out, we'll be on, like, PS6 and xbox yeah, okay. whatever they call the next it, one i guess it is kind of nice that like place that xbox is actually getting some exclusives now that are worth playing probably yeah well no that's that's the thing though they're still not exclusives 
Like, if you own a PC, there is no reason to get an Xbox. Well, I mean, it was a Halo Infinite releasing on a... Well, yeah. Well, and PC. Prefer, uh, yeah, it's true. That's what I'm saying. And like, even then, you uh, can use a controller on PC. Really? Get a PC at this point. <sighs> There's no point to get an Xbox. Just buy a PC. Get yeah. it over with. If I... I would nope. never buy an Xbox anyway. Not that I have, like, a hate on for Microsoft. I just... Every game I want to I play that's on Xbox is uh, is on PC, and PlayStation have rock solid exclusives. Like, well, yeah, and and the, the Xbox is making it a point that all of their exclusives will be on Windows 10 or Game Pass for PC or something like that. Like every exclusive game for Xbox will be on PC. They've they've I'm, they've I'm promised that at that. least. Yeah, and that's cool. Well, that's ex awesome. Except except for Halo Five, apparently. Because that was before that. Yeah, that 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 was before that promise. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the only Halo game that will never be on PC. Yep. Uh, PC and we'll be Xbox playing that game. tomorrow. Oh, you're playing that tomorrow? <clears throat> Great, I'll tune in. Probably playing that tomorrow. Have you moved your PC into the room yet? Or you mean my Xbox? Xbox? No, I haven't. But I'll do that tomorrow. That's tomorrow Kevin's problem. Yeah, take that, future hey, Kevin. That's a big-ass mood. <laughs> yes also mood um yeah so we're probably playing halo 5 tomorrow um thursday nothing um this weekend's kind of up in the air um i'm supposed to hang out with, we're supposed to hang out with my family for birthdays and stuff so i don't know when that's gonna you be though you haven't even texted your family yet i have okay um that was today um so yeah i don't know what's gonna go on this weekend probably games maybe not i don't know we'll see um so yeah that was everything on the podcast list Any, anyone have any uh ending thoughts or good jokes or um slowly but surely i'm dying we're all dying so, yeah we're well, so we... Yes. So, so, oh, we all are christine do you guys want to play a little uh, minecraft also here's a psa keep keep your car clean keep keep it clean uh why please. why uh, so uh since this happened during my hiatus, uh, I talked to, I think I talked about it a little bit on Minecraft, but uh, during my hiatus, there was a point where Nat's car's transmission died and he needed to get it and it was too expensive to replace. So he just got a new car and uh, he ended up selling off the old one. Now the problem is like he, kept a lot of trash and shit in his car and uh i only helped clean out part of it uh when like hoarder levels of trash oh Ugh. yeah it, it was pretty gross uh i love you so uh uh but there was some fun stuff uh that i found i literally found money in the glove box and he like i didn't know this existed uh, found a few of his old show posters in the trunk. Nice. Uh, but yeah, keep the car clean. You never know what's going to happen because he's like, this is going to be my for a while car. I don't care. And then it wasn't. And he's like, oh. Did he get like a new new car? Yeah, he like got a... a new new car. How would he get? Uh, a Honda Fit Sport. And it's orange. Nice. Or Orange Fury, I believe, is the nice. the color name. Nice, it's nice, nice. Pretty. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So, so nice. keep your cars clean, folks, if you have them. No, nope. I've been working I've been, on it. I've been meaning to. Take I don't own a car to make it a dirty. That's, that's, that's why I Soon. said if you have them. Awesome. So okay. I got car Max is where I got my first car. That's where I got my first car too. I went to my Ford dealership. <laughs> CarMax is nice because there's... Well, it's nice and not nice because you can't haggle the price, but also the salespeople no. can't haggle the price. The price is set by the company. Yeah, so the like there's take it or fucking leave it, bro. <laughs> yeah, essentially there, there is no back and forth. There is no negotiating. It's just this is the price. Pay it or don't get it. I was 100% okay with that because yeah, just... also buying my new car was a horrible experience and I hate it. They also gave me like $2,000 more than Kelly Blue Book said my car is worth because I took good care of it. Kelly yeah, I... Kelly Blue Book placed my car at like 5000 and they gave me seven for it. So I was like, I okay. Guess, I, only, <laughs> I, I only got three for my piece of shit uh, like Nissan Sentra. Well, I had, a, I had a 2004 Honda CRV 
which oh. I th- it was it was kind of in at the time it, wait, when I really? sold it. In. Yeah, 2004. Yeah, was, wait, how, mine was mine was a was a piece of shit sedan from 2011. How did yeah, yours I get took like good, five thousand more dollars than mine? Because I took, took good, good care, care of it, it and I replaced the rate. I, I I replaced the 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 audio system in it to like a newer oh, audio system. So I'm right. thinking that they thought I put more into it than I than than I actually did. Yeah, so, mm-hmm. whatever. Um. Yeah, so I think that that wrap about wraps up. To, but but that but that that yes. about wraps up the podcast. Um, hi, Kitty. Abby. Yeah. Well, hi. Abby, what are you doing? Oh. Oh. Look to the microphone. Abby started the music. Bye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hey. <laughs> um. So yeah, I think we'll be back in a few minutes with some Minecraft, just some some chill Minecraft. Um. Are you, are you okay with that? I might, I might just go on the couch. You guys can play Minecraft. Oh, okay. I don't know. We'll, we'll talk about it. We might be back with Minecraft. We might not. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you follow. Make sure you donate to the St. Jude Play Life campaign. Um, thank okay. you if you have. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I'm going to put the link in chat one more time. One Bye. more time. Um, <laughs> We're going to celebrate. Make sure you're following so I know you know when I go live next. Well, again, we'll be back definitely tomorrow with some Halo. So make sure you're following, and I we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Penis. There it is. <laughs>